Hi, so I've just emptied out the worm bin because uh, I was getting a bit concerned it was too moist and uh, maybe getting too claggy at the bottom and stuff and going anaerobic so I just wanted to tip it out and just mix it up a bit and just have a good look see what's in here and I've noticed there is some cocoons in here now see the one just sort of there where is it another one down here so yeah they're starting to lay eggs in there already, which isn't surprising me because they were all adults. But, um, yeah, most of them are quite big. But uh, let's have a little look around because there's some clumps of grass in here. Which, uh, there's quite a few there. Uh, I think that's a bit of melon skin there. Uh, some of it looks nice and dark, some of it's, I think this is a lot of soil from compost, so I'm not too worried about putting too much grit in here yet, but uh, let's try and do it gently, that's a bit of a corn on the cob, <laughs> a worm trying to get in there, uh, there's an apple, well, I didn't chop up, I suppose I chop that up actually, I'll move that to one side, but uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of activity in here. Another apple I didn't chop up. Let's move that over. Oh yeah, also I did notice that there's a few mites or something in here, which are on those peaches what I popped in. So I'll see if I can find a peach. So there's another melon skin. Uh, avocado. That looks like a bit of banana. Put most of this uh, lots of seeds and stuff in there no, oh yeah so lots of worms i thought i'd put about 500 but there may be more than that in here it might be near a, a thousand really but uh let's give it a good mix i did pop some big bits of paper in here to try and soak up some of the water So that's like a onion. Uh, that worms have a bit of the onion. So there's a bit of misconception about onions. Okay, there's loads there. Let's see if I can find this peach. Um, it seems to be going for the, the beetroot roots. I'll add you a bit of paper. Yep, down a bit. There's quite a few in here. Try and get rid of them. So, it's handy we've got this big tray to pop it all out on because that was one concern about my bin is I can't just easily get in there. So, I've got this big this cement mixing tray. Uh, it's perfect for this. Oh, quite a lot of ways, yeah. So yeah, I'm liking it in here at the moment. Anyway, I'm probably going to add some more paper in a minute. Try and dry it out a bit more. But uh, yeah, there's quite a few worms. A bit around the potato. So yeah, just going to em empty it out and pop it back in again in a minute but add some more um, paper, like I said. So I've just scooped all the worms back into the bin and there's so much food in there really. So I've decided to take all this stuff out and uh, pop that in to my big bin here, which I'm just using as compost. But I've also put some worms in here now as well. So... Hopefully these will be right in here over winter because it's uh, quite a big volume. So what I'm going to do with 
all this stuff here is to tip that into the bin. And with this stuff here, I'm just going to add some cardboard, some bedding for them. Help dry it out a little bit. There's not a massive amount there. And I'm just going to pop these comfy leaves back on top as well. So that's all the that's all the stuff they're going to get for the time being. And uh, turn it around. But yeah, yeah, it's quite handy really. Pop that back in there. Oh, by the way, yeah, there was one worm in the bottom here actually. So one did escape in the bottom there. I'm not sure how it got in there. It must have been through a hole at the bottom, but it's quite a big worm. So they are escape artists. So yeah, I'm going to pop all this food into the big bin. And I think there are, I basically could have quite a few mites. Something on this peach. I didn't want it to get out of hand. But uh, yeah, so this will all go in the compost bin anyway. Get rid of it in there. It's all good. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.